Welcome to Enthijan, my dear friends, in this very powerful video of Algebraic Challenging Equations. In this video, we'll be solving one very intricating rational equation today. x power 4 plus 4x square plus 3 plus 16 over x power 4 plus 12x square plus 35 equal to 0. As you can see, there is no negative sign in left hand side as well as its powers are even. So you won't get RHS 0 until unless you are having complex solution. x square will be negative. That means complex solution will come. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. Let's find out the values of x which will make this denominator 0. So that won't be accepted. So I will split this 12x square as 7 plus 5. So I will write x power 4 plus 7x square plus 5x square that is 12x square and if you will take the product it will give us 35 okay so from first two term I will take x square common so x square plus 7 and from last two terms these two I will take 5 common so again I will get x square plus 7 non-zero so if I will take x square plus 7 common then it will come with x square plus 5 as factor. Now we can see x square cannot be equal to minus 7 or you can write 7i square. Take a square root both sides. So x cannot be equal to for this denominator cannot be 0. So I can write square root 7 times i and plus minus sign. Similarly, from the second bracket, I will write x cannot be equal to plus minus square root 5 times i. If you will write the values, then I can write it is root 5 is, let me write here, plus minus and root 5 is 2.236. So, i and square root 7 is 2.645. It cannot be plus minus 2.645i. So these values are not accepted. So let's solve our equation. I will begin with the substitution. Directly I will write let x square is equal to a. So how this equation will reduce? Reduce in terms of powers. So I will write here a square plus 4a plus 3 plus 16 over x square plus 12a plus 35 equal to 0. Now multiply by this denominator. So x square. So it would be a square. Let me correct it. It would be a square. Let me write. Okay. Now I will factorize only a square plus 4a plus 3. So you can write a plus 1 a plus 3 directly you can write. A split 4a as 3a plus a. Then take a common from the first two last two. You will get a plus 1 a plus 3. Similarly as we have already calculated this denominator. It is a plus 5 a plus 7. Now take LCM equal to 0. Now I will multiply both sides with a plus 5 times a plus 7. So I can write it is a plus 1 a plus 3 a plus 5, a plus 7, plus 16 equal to 0, where a is x square. Remember, we will put back at last. So, I will consider 3 plus 5. You can see this 3 plus 5 is 8 and 7 plus 1 is 8. So, I will consider both the brackets like this. And then I will write a plus 3, a plus 5 plus 16 equal to 0. Let's expand. Only these two and then we will take up these product. So a square 7a plus a 8a plus 7. Second bracket I will write a square plus 8a plus 15. So one method is there. You will consider a, a square plus 8a as t and you can solve. 
I will consider this 7 as 11 minus 4. Let me write here 7 as 11 minus 4 and this 15 as 11 plus 4. So it will become difference of 2 squares. Let's write over there. So I will write <coughs> a square plus 8a plus 11 minus 4. This is our first bracket. And second bracket a square plus 8a plus 11 plus 4. 15 it is. And then I will write plus 16 equal to 0. Now see a square plus 8a plus 11 a square plus 8a plus 11. Consider it is C and this is something square like 2 square it is. So a minus b a plus b a square minus b square. So I will write a square plus 8a plus 11 whole square minus b square. So 4 square that is 16 plus 16 equal to 0. So you can cancel directly. Now what is left? a square plus 8a plus 11 whole square equal to 0 or a square plus 8a plus 11 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula or Shidrachar formula. Let's apply. So a will be equal to minus b minus 8 plus minus square root b square 80 square 64 minus 4 a b so minus 44 over 2 a so i can write minus 8 plus minus this is 20 so 20 i can factorize 4 times 5 4 will come out from the square root so it will become 2 root 5 over 2 so minus 4 plus minus square root 5 this is our final calculation for A. Now, I will split both because obviously we know the complex solutions will come. So, I will write A as two values of A. First one is minus 4 plus square root 5. And second one is minus 4 minus square root 5. Both values are negative as we know. Square root 5 is 2.236, 0, 6 and so on. So I have taken only three decimal places. If I will put over there, so I will write minus 4 plus 2.236. Then this value will come out negative 1.7639. Come to the second value, minus 4 minus 2.236. So it will become minus 6.236. So both values are negative as you can see. Now I will put back the our substitution. So let us consider that substitution. So finally we have two values a is equal to minus 1.7639 and second value is minus 6.236. Now I will put back our substitution that is x square is equal to a or a is equal to x square. So I will write x square is equal to minus 1.7639. So I can write this one as 1.7639 i square. As we all know, i is equal to square root minus 1 or i square is equal to negative 1. So in place of minus 1, we can write i square. Now take a square root both sides. So I will write x is equal to plus minus i times square root 1.7639. And if you will check this value, then this value will be plus minus square root will be 1.32. So I will write 1.32i. So our first solution or you can say a pair of solution. 1.32i. Now come to the second value. See here we have taken first, now second. x square is equal to minus 6 point, minus 6 point 2306. Okay, let's write minus 1 as i square. 
So I can write here 6.23606 i square, same way. Now take square root both sides. So x will become plus minus i times square root 6.23606. Once you will take square root of that, it will come out 2.49. So I will write my answer 2.49. I. Now you can cross check also. It is none of the answer which we rejected for our denominator 0. Okay. So that was, let me write here, that was x is equal to root 5 i plus minus root 5 i. So it was x is equal to plus minus root 5 i. So I will write 2.3606 i and second one was plus minus root 7i. So plus minus 2.645i. So you can see it is not there. So our four solutions which are complex are there. I hope you like this video purely based on complex solutions. As you can see your equation is having even powers and non-negative terms. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.